from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this very rainy Monday morning, July 10th. I'm Nicole Nalepa. We have a lot of stories to cover, but first, the big story of the morning is the weather. So let's get right over to Scott to see how things are faring out there. It is a wet one and really serious in some spots, right, Scott? Absolutely. Lots of rain in Litchfield County, unfortunately. Norfolk uh, taking it on the chin, as well as Kent, uh, Connecticut, with excessive amounts of rain that have fallen overnight through this morning and it just continues. I'm joined by meteorologist Melissa Cole in the early morning forecast center to get you through all the rain. We've still got this flash flood warning in effect until 845 in parts of western Litchfield County, but you can see the rain has shifted a little bit further to the east out of the Polygon area, but Simsbury, you've got Bloomfield, Blue Hills, Watertown, uh, all getting pounded all the way over to Watertown. Moodus, Haddam, East Haddam, Deep River, Essex. Good morning to you. We're dealing with some rain coming right down Route 9, and there's more rain out over the open waters of the Long Island Sound. This is churning its way. This is going to be with us for the next three to four hours, making its way through eastern Connecticut. When I came in this morning nice and early, there was not a whole lot of rain in eastern, uh, northeast, and southeast Connecticut, but that is changing, as you can see. Again, substantial amounts of rain pushing through the area. Area. Flood watch in effect now through tomorrow morning for all of Connecticut. Uh, the flash flood warning is in effect until 8 o'clock. That's that area shaded in red. And if you look very carefully, you'll see a little bit of a lighter shade of green. That's the river flood warning for the Housatonic at Gaylordsville that kicks in at 8.25 uh, this morning. So let's take a look. We are in alert mode. Periods of heavy rain, embedded storms. Some could be strong today. The heaviest of the rain is going to shut down, but we are still calling for some isolated showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon. And of course, we'll be here in the early morning forecast center to get you through those as well. But right now, excessive rainfall amounts. We've got reports out of Warren of seven and a quarter an inch, a seven and a quarter inch of rain, seven inches of rain in parts of Warren, Connecticut. And that you know, total keeps growing. Poor drainage, flash flooding, river flooding. It's all in the realm of possibility. And Melissa, we have uh, visibility out there is not only reduced because of the rain, but because of uh, the uh, scattered uh, fog that we're dealing with as well. Yes, yeah, low cloudiness and fog, a bit of an issue, plus that rain coming on down. So definitely slow your speed as you head off to work this morning or maybe you're dropping the kids off at camp. Now we have low visibility and rain coming down in Old Saybrook with that next batch of rain coming up from the shoreline. In Torrington, the river is raging right now. Torrington, one of the areas that has picked up quite a bit of rainfall in parts of Litchfield County, five to seven inches of rainfall, believe it or or not in stores right now you have some rain coming on down eastern connecticut has been spared the worst of the rain but between now and let's say 11 a.m likely picking up additional totals in that part of the state lots of clouds around once the rain shuts off this afternoon we're going to keep an eye on some more scattered pop-up storms and some of those could be strong isolated severe not a widespread event also possible along the shoreline anything that redevelops today could um, not only put down some additional heavy rainfall but could contain some hail and even some strong gusty winds now here's the rain we have on top of us right now look down to our south you can see that there's not a a whole lot between Long Island and further down to the south. So we're going to see things starting to shift and shut down. So likely after noontime today, things will improve for us dramatically as we're going to see this area of rain shifting northward into Massachusetts and northern New England, where further ongoing rain and flooding concerns will be evident. So here's um, future cast tomorrow's weather today. This is 8 a.m. Still showing pockets of heavy rain across the area, but notice by 10, 11 a.m., a lot of that rain starts to move off to the north. Then we get more scattered activity. These will likely be some quick downpours as well as some gusty winds. And then everything kind of shuts down by 8, 9 o'clock tonight. And skies will actually clear out, setting the stage for a much better day for tomorrow. So the severe threat is low. We do have a marginal risk in parts of eastern Connecticut. All right. Thanks, Melissa. We are taking you out right now and showing you. Uh, the remainder of the forecast temperatures, it's soupy, it's humid. The dew points are in the upper 60s and low 70s this morning, rivaling those temperatures, relative humidity cranking at about 100% this morning. The winds, they were substantial this morning along the shoreline out of the east and still are 15 miles an hour sustained in Groton. So it's a little breezy down there. Here are those dew points again in the upper 60s and low 70s. The comfort index is between muggy and downright oppressive.
This area of low pressure will eventually relinquish control over us. It is going to move on up to the north and east, but it's going to take its sweet time. And as it does, the potential for more showers and thunderstorms exists this afternoon. But tomorrow, the big blue H rolls in, and we're expecting a pretty good day of weather tomorrow and for Wednesday. Rain, isolated storms, getting better this evening, and lower humidity during the day tomorrow. The temperature spread today between 78 and 82. Isolated storms, flooding is of course a concern as the rain continues to come down. And your forecast for today calls for, again, the spread is between about 80 and 82 degrees. You might get an 83 in Danbury. Here's your seven day forecast, 87 tomorrow, 92 on Wednesday. Two nice days in a row, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to dry things out, and then we go back to the thunderstorm threat Thursday through Sunday. Not as substantial as this morning, but nonetheless, the threat for thunderstorms does exist Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a check of your early warning forecast. We'll be here in the early warning forecast center for you all morning long. If you need us, weather3 at WFSB.com. Nicole, send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Melissa. Heavy rain has made for some difficult travel on the roads. Look at this. This was actually a road in Norfolk, and now it looks like it's a running river, right? These are some of the videos that you are sending us showing conditions where you are. Litchfield County really got hit hard, as you can see. These are actually pipes that were pushed down um, a river and the water washed away again part of that road and the driver is also showing this perspective of more water on the road and debris so we just want to send home the warning if you see a big puddle ahead of you please do not drive through it turn around don't drown that's the saying you never know what's in there it's very dangerous and if you have any conditions that you'd like to share with us we would love to see them so you can do so by uploading your pictures and videos to the channel 3 app or by heading to wfsb.com and make sure to download our channel 3 app and our wfsb weather app on your smartphone for hour by hour forecasts right where you live we'll be sure to bring you all the latest on today's wet weather as things develop now on to some more headlines. Breaking overnight in Middletown, firefighters rescued several people from an apartment balcony as they battled a fire just before midnight. And this happened actually at the Hunter's Crossing apartment complex on Russet Lane. Firefighters pulled several people from a balcony and two others were rushed to a hospital, but fortunately were told that they were both expected to be okay. And new this morning, police in New Haven are still trying to figure out what led up to a serious crash that sent two people to the hospital. This happened right on Foxen Boulevard just before 930 last night. Police say an SUV crossed right into oncoming traffic and then slammed into two other vehicles. The driver of the SUV and a driver in one of the other cars were both taken to the hospital with serious injuries. And new information in Meriden this morning where police have arrested a man for murder. Now this is a new development tied to a stabbing investigation that we first brought to you as breaking news over the weekend. As you see, this man is in police custody this morning after what they are calling an hours long standoff. He's accused of stabbing Justin Sloan Sr. on Hanover Road Saturday night. Sloan died at the hospital after police found him lying right in the street. And this man is in jail on a $5 million bond. Also this morning, friends and family will have the chance to say goodbye to former Governor Lowell Weicker. The funeral service for the former congressman, senator, and governor is happening right at St. Barnabas Episcopal Church in Greenwich. And the memorial will start at 10 a.m. Weicker died on June 28th at the age of 92. Several eulogies will be delivered, including one by Governor Lamont and former U.S. Senator Chris Dodd. Weicker's sons will also be giving eulogies. The church will have limited seating available to the general public, but you can watch the service right on the Channel 3 app if you cannot go in person. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this very busy weather day. Remember to get news and weather updates anytime on that Channel 3 app. Be healthy, stay positive, and be safe out there today.